Hello and welcome back to Rob's PC Workshop. Today we're going to be using the basic router configuration using the command line interface. Mm. So, first thing we want to do, set the host name on the main office router, which is right here. So we select the main office router, enter into global configuration mode. Okay, so we're going to enter hostname main office. We're going to exit the privileged exec mode. Uh, we're going to do a copy running start config to save what we've entered. And we can't put that period in there, obviously, so let's do that. All right. Boom, saved. So we're going to set the host name on the remote site one. Doing the same thing, go to the command line interface. Go in your global configuration mode. Um, <clears throat> we're going to enter the host name remote site one. And then same deal, we're going to exit out of global configuration mode. And save it. Okay. Now we're going to configure the router interfaces. So we're going <clears> to <throat> we're going to configure the serial inter interface on the main office router. So we're going to enter into global configuration mode. Uh, we're going to configure the serial 01 slash 0 interface. So we're going to um, we enter interface serial 0 dash 1 dash 0. Uh, we're going to set the IP address by typing IP address 192.168.1.1 and then our subnet mask is triple two five five and then two five two so we're going to put that in there so we're going to again uh, issue a no shut command make sure our ports open exit and then save <clears throat> okay And then for the next part, I'm going to open up Notepad here. And so the first thing we want to do is enter inter interface fast Ethernet 00. zero. Uh, give an IP address, of course. Issue the no shut command. Exit twice. And then copy running config okay 
so now this is for we're configuring the fast ethernet interface on the main office copy that go to our main office terminal And voila, everything was completed. So now we want to configure the serial interface on the remote site one router. So we'll go ahead and keep that open. <clears throat> so up on this one, we want to configure serial zero one first. So serial zero one zero interface one nine two one six eight dot one dot two two five five two five five two five five two five two So let's go ahead and copy this. And do fast ethernet at the same time. So our um, fast ethernet is going to be at 192.168.3.1. And our subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. And hopefully this works correctly. Fair sure enough. Fair sure enough. So now we need to configure the RIP routing protocol. So we're going to select the main office router again. Enter into the global configuration mode. Okay. Enable RIP and a router RIP. So router RIP version two, configure the networks to advertise. Exit and then copy run start. So configure it version 2 on the remote site 1, doing the same thing. So we're going to do enter global configuration mode, router rip, version 2.
make sure we're configuring our routers to advertise. <clears throat> got to configure enable console and VTUI passwords. So now we're going to go back to the main office. Enter into global configuration mode. Set the enable secret password to Cisco123. Line console zero, password class. Log in, and we want to exit our push exact mode. And copy running start. Copy run start. And now we're going to go to remote site one. Do the same thing. Enable. Uh, first, we're going to go to our global configuration mode. Set our password. Go into line console zero. Password class for this router also. Now we want to enter our login. line v2y04 and again for that we're going to do password class login and then exit and copy run start Now we need to verify um, configurations and connectivity. So we're going to show the running configuration for the main office router using the show running config command. So leave this one open and we'll open this one. And we'll do the show running config. So I'll issue the show run command because it understands that better. So our IP address for our fast Ethernet, zero, zero for our serial, configured exactly like we wanted it. Router rep version two, network we want to broadcast. Our login, password class, line console zero. And it says I didn't enter my line VTY04 properly, so we'll go ahead and uh, edit that. So we get it correct.
All right, let's try that again. We'll do the show run command. Everything should be the same, except for hopefully this time. We have line V2I04, password class. There you go, that one's configured correctly. So now we'll go over here. We'll do the show run command. IP address set correctly. Interface serial set correctly. Router rip version two. Yep, password class, password class, everything said correctly. So now all we need to do is ping PC1 from command prompt on PC0. We're going to trace the network path from PC0 to PC1 from the command prompt using the tracer command. So apparently our packets doesn't look like they're leaving our computer here. So even though we configured our our switches correctly, it doesn't appear that our our, our, our routers, our switches are uh, configured correctly. So uh, I don't think this is going to work. But um, that's that's the packet tracer. So I hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day.